We good to go, boss? Everything coming through, right? Yes, yes. Um, right, radio. So it's me. Volume is a little high. Give me a second. <laughs> I don't know if everyone's eardrums exploded, but. So hey, it's me again, Leon, otherwise known as Methuselah Honeysuckle. Uh, <laughs> as today, like with every stream, we'll be doing a bizarre showcase. Uh, I've always been a big uh, evangelizer of creator content, whether you get it through Patreon or the bizarre, whatever method you do, I definitely recommend checking out these packages. But if you get it through our bizarre, you get it stored for free, so... So, we'll be showing off three packages today. Uh, Dreadful, Dreadful Domains 2 by Mad Cartographer. Uh, the Elegant Manor by Divination Illustrations. And the Forest Breeze Asset Package. Oh. Is it going right? Sorry, I heard a hang up. Huh. And uh, the Seems Forest fine. Breeze Asset Package by uh, Dungeon Channel. So, first... Let's throw three people on the field here. You see, we're in the we're in this middle of this nice little dungeon, and perhaps Hippo Man is about to face off against Nosferatu. We just roll initiative, and look at this. A bit of a different initiative window, as you might notice. This is Combat Carousel. It's a module by Irrational. Uh, he's a former developer of Forge, actually, alongside Kakarono yeah. and others. Although Kakarot is not former. Uh, it is free. And it is very delightful. It has a lot of features. It very nicely compacts this. So you can start and then starts on this guy. You can go through each turn. And then at the end it brings it back to the start here. You can uh, customize the content. The uh, tracker here. So you can go into your settings and you can configure it to be to give different icons you can make it larger and you can do a lot with it for those who have played the game before you might recognize some inspiration from divinity original sin and uh i personally love it uh I've been a bit delayed on adding it to my games because I typically add modules very slowly. I'm uh, cautious like that nowadays after ruining several games previously. Uh, but nowadays, uh, but I definitely need to add this one. Uh, as you'll see here, you can customize a lot with it. You can open up character sheets from it. The normal initiative tracker is pretty good, but I tend to think that Combat Carousel fits the uh, horizontal nature of Foundry VTT a lot better if you have a larger screen. Especially since you get these nice, pretty, like, token views. It just looks brilliant. Yeah, looks really well, good. I, I'm used to just popping out the Combat Tracker, but... Um... The combat carousel just looks so much nicer and much more convenient to use. Uh, I remember the first video that Irrational did showing um, the combat carousel when it was still in development. Um, and I was really impressed by it. It looks awesome and very usable. Um, it, it is, like you said, a free module. It's available in the bazaar or you know in your uh, foundry installation. Um, I do want to point out that Irrational also has a Patreon if anyone wants to support uh, his work. And I'll be pa pasting the link to um, his Patreon in the chat. It's uh, patreon.com slash deadsafe. Thank you, Kakaroto. I definitely will subscribe to his Patreon back when this was a Patreon-only module. It just looked so brilliant, and I figured I might as well throw him some monetary support for Combat Utility Belt, which is on which is honestly my second favorite module ever, so it's so darn good. It's definitely something I would recommend using chat if you uh, run any sort of 5e game. And I think it might even be compatible with non-5e systems, at least Probably Pathfinder. You'd ha I'd recommend double checking, but it should be. I think yes. Right. So we'll just dump that, and uh, 
but we will be showing off another package right here. So this is Dreaded Domains 2 by the Mad Cartographer. I, I immediately it's, recognize the Mad Cartographer style. Exactly. It's dreaded, but it's not dreadful, that's for sure. Uh, it's not yet on the bazaar, but it is coming soon. Uh, they'll be submitting it for release very soon. Unfortunately, the first one can't make it to the bazaar for certain reasons, but this one is beautiful. So... A lot of it has quite a few maps here. If you'll scroll down, you'll see here that uh, there's a lot of maps in here that are inspired by the new Ravenloft book for 5e, but they're not actually taken from the book, so don't worry. Uh, so they look so they'll be great if you're thinking of running something from Ravenloft. I, I'm going to interrupt you just for a second. Uh, we do have a giveaway that we want to do um, after you you're done showing the the bizarre stuff. Um, so I just like to tell people to type, uh, what was it again? I think hashtag forge 2022. Yeah. So type hashtag forge 2022 in chat to enter, uh, our giveaway, uh, for a Rollsmith gift card, which is, uh, um, available on the, uh, uh, bizarre we have some some content there uh, but the gift card will be to purchase content directly from their own store as well as a $20 gift card for the forge um, yeah uh, go ahead while people spam the chat go ahead and continue showing your uh, uh, the map cartographers uh. so this is one of those maps that emphasize the philosophy of foundry where you can put as much prep in as you want or as little prep in as you want. This puts in a good amount of prep. So you'll see that there's this arrow pointing down. It's actually painted onto the tile there. And it keeps pointing down here and there's a big X mark. Now this is where when I would have the players open it up and it's a rather vicious mimic. But why would the people making this dungeon point towards the chest? That's something you can answer as a DM. You can go down this wing and oh man, there's a slime pit. And you could keep going that way. Or you could go north, and, uh, interesting. The players won't see this, but if there's three braziers burning and one unlit, if they burn the brazier, secret door. Pretty cool, right? And then one final thing, which I adored. So you get up to here, and the rapids are flowing. The audio is so loud, I can't hear anything. But yeah. the players can actually go down here, and, uh, these walls are walked through, at least on this side. Water washes them down, suddenly they can't get out. <laughs> They've fallen into the net, and there's a bunch of bones here. Others have died here before, and just right next to the net, there is a heart chained to an altar. How did these people not escape the cage? Why is the heart pounding? That's something you can answer as a DM. So, this module is full of interesting twists and turns like that and mad cartographer is a big fan of utilizing a lot of fancy modules that really pick up the pace and elevate a lot of his content uh to make it worth the the pricing and so i definitely recommend checking out this module when it goes live on the forge i'm honestly surprised you can put out these many maps each month it's insane and he's actually going to be launching a uh, kickstarter soon for crucible a gaming magazine that'll yeah. release foundry ready content we saw that at pax uh that was a pretty cool thing and you know mad is supposed to be one map a day uh, and that just tells you just how mad he was thinking that it was something doable but he is still extremely prolific uh yes Even, Apparently you know he just like a a, he did it for a while now just having these extremely elaborate maps you know uh i don't know how often he releases them um probably like a, a couple uh a month it's still quite a bit of work and we can see just how much um there is there uh, there's the music there's the um you know, the the walls, the secret passages, everything is just working in such a cohesive manner. I love it. Yeah. So, definitely check this out when it goes live on the Bazaar. There's a bunch of other really cool map packages, though, that you can already buy from him. So, 
We'll be moving on now to the next package set. Uh, we'll be actually showing off two and one here. It might take a second to load. Uh, <laughs> there we go. Right, so we move right in here first. And you might notice these somewhat unnatural but very beautiful trees. So we've got the Elegant Manor package from Divination Illustrations, but we've also got these nice animated trees. I'm going to be showing off these first. Uh, th these trees are by Dungeon Channel. You might have heard of him if you've heard of the website that allows you to randomly de generate dungeon maps and then exports data already needed to wall up the dungeons and uh, set up everything correctly. He even now supports caves for those of whom want to test it out on his website. It's still experimental, but it still works very well, and it looks great. Just a nice random spin-up dungeon or cave, and it's gotten more elaborate since I last checked it over, too. Now, these trees look amazing. They're even animated if you see me zooming in on here closely. So you can do stuff like set these up as overhead tiles. And then like underneath them could be like this shadow here. Around like this map. And so you can get some really realistic looking forests. So if you're the type of person that likes assembling maps within Foundry or likes enhancing existing maps like these trees are here and it looks very nice and let me show off something really cool i did just on the fly it took me like a few seconds i placed this shadow as an overhead tile and so you'll see the leaves there are actually over the token if you look closely so your players are just navigating along and they can feel the tree shadow over them and let's say i want the tree shadow to be thicker oh that's easy so i just go to uh the tile here and i have to go to the uh foreground layer and let's just uh duplicate one of the to tokens there suddenly darker even more noticeable now look at that oh, so yeah. so gosh darn beautiful and you can set this up so like here let's see if i can do it on the fly real quick so like let's set this up so it's roughly centered right and we're going to set this up we're going to actually move this to uh zoom out a bit, little bit we're going to move this to the uh, foreground layer. So we're going to... <sighs> Give me... Okay, where is... Overhead tile. There we go. So, you're walking along and then the tree just instantly fades and you're underneath the shadow of the tree. And it's small stuff like that that makes Foundry worth experimenting with so much. It's such a brilliant thing to use these asset packages with. And it's part of my always comprehensive goal to paint these packages, this content, wherever you get them, but hopefully from the bazaar, as a palette for you to use as a GM. This is something for you to create with. This is something to make prep easier or to make prep more interesting. Imagine your players walking through a forest and just the tree line disappearing as they walk under it to be replaced by the glistening, shaking leaves in the wind as they walk under each branch. It's pretty awesome and just adds so much depth to your map with so such simple changes. It's uh, really awesome. Yeah, and like, heck, like, your players won't notice if you just copy and paste the same tree over again, like, rotate it a bit, and then rotate the shadows a bit as well. They'll never notice, and if you do, just throw in an extra tree or two from the pack. There's, like, gosh, like, 30 of them or so? It's ridiculous. And then just, like, randomly throw them in. If you're using Moline, a uh, module that lets you browse the asset packages on our service, you can actually use that to just quickly, like look them up and like search through a bunch of images really quickly and throw them onto the map. So now we're going to be showcasing the actual package that these assets are on, which is the elegant manner map. Uh, looking over it, uh, you see that there's this nice, simple uh, manner. It doesn't have a lot of detail, but this can be actually pretty useful because 
if I'm running a combat, it can get pretty hard if everything's compact and, clo and uh, close together. It's probably more realistic, but it looks a lot nicer and it makes for a lot better combat with these spread out rooms and this simplistic stuff. Because And it also lets you insert more detail via theater of the mind. So maybe like you can describe more detail about how like the certain floorboards are more worn if there's a secret passageway you want to throw down. And like that wouldn't work as well in a more detailed map. Or maybe you want to paint this as like just a nice, simple, happy home. And the fact that it's less cluttered and more spaced out and clean kind of helps emphasize that mood in your players' heads. Oh yes, and by the way, this map set for the Elegant Manor also has a nighttime and dusk version. Uh, so we're we're trying to load into floor two here. We'll go up to floor two and we might see something a little strange. A lot of bedrooms, a lot of very small ones. Maybe this is a guest, a lot of guest bedrooms for the manor lord who likes to keep over guests. Or uh, maybe he's secretly Hippo Man and he's luring your players in. He's a were hippo and he's luring them in to ambush them at night. And he's going to harvest your player's bones for keyboard keycaps. And their adrenochrome for keyboard lube, as is right and proper. Uh, for those not in the know, um, <laughs> Destiny Gray here is a fanatic of uh, mechanical keyboards, and he keeps talking about them, and I always keep saying that he's a cultist, and that he's in the cult of the mechanical keyboards. <laughs> I'm not in a cult. Give me your adrenochrome, boss. Anyway, uh... <laughs> That'll actually be it. I just wanted to show off this nice these uh, packages and how nice and simple this one is. And uh, this one goes for pretty cheap on the bazaar, so I'm definitely picking this up for use. Uh, my players are going to be very disturbed when they're wandering around a post-apocalyptic campaign that they're in, and they just come across this random nice forest manner like what the heck is happening here i'm gonna do absolutely nothing to them and it's gonna make them ridiculously paranoid so thanks for tuning in but i think that'll be the end, the end of my uh showcase there all right thank you destiny and with that let me just disable my video from there and then we can switch back to um this